to the Acura Summer of Before. I'm about to watch a movie. I don't invite you into my bedroom often, okay? Especially in the bed, literally on the nightstand. The movie I'm attempting to watch is called 2018. Bass downstairs fixing me. We both can't sleep. Oh my God, but you scared. Is that all I asked for, Bass? Wine? Mm -hmm. Oh, I need it more. What else you need? <laughs> I gotta go downstairs, y'all. Wait a minute. Is this English way? Yeah. Okay, it's just getting started. Wait a minute. Okay. It's called the cabin. It's not really scary. <gasps> See? Oh, yeah, it's scary. It's not. This is murderous, secret, suspicious, stranger, danger. Yep, horror. Suspense serious. Babe, let's serious. discuss food. I need a parasitic. I must have a tapeworm. I, I have two doctor's appointments. I'm in my menopause phase now where a baby sleep schedule. Like right now, I'm gonna, let me see, what time is it? The time is 9.25 p.m. Babe is so patient. I love, I love him so much. Babe, I love you so much. Okay, y'all, so listen. Baby, I love you. You do. Do I get on your nerves? Tell the truth. No. My mood swings. Tell the people what you feel like. Like, what do you go through as a man? We need to discuss this real quick. Just stay right there. What have you went through with me and what I got going on? Like, all the things you feel as a man. Because men do watch, you know, our channel because of you sometimes, too. It's been challenging. A little challenging. A little challenging. So like, in what way, if you don't mind sharing, like what things have you endured as a man looking at your woman go through the things I went through? Um, I just, I'm such an analytical thinker. I think that everything has a fix. I know I shouldn't think that way, but that's the way my mind works. So I'm like, you know, what can you do? If it's a chemical imbalance, like what can you do to get back to balance, right? Mm -hmm. So, I, my frustration comes when, like, all the mood swings or the whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Ups and downs. Like, if you can somehow take something or do something or you meditate or whatever, and you know, to counterbalance that. You want enough? to help myself or do you feel like I make excuses for all the things that you clearly see is happening just so that I can continue to act the way I act? No, no. No, you can be honest because we're having a real conversation here. And then, you know, you know, we're being real. I don't know. I don't think, you know, it's because so you can continue on. I just think that, you know, that we as human beings in general, that I am concerned for your health as well, right? Yeah. And babe, make an appointment, babe, make an appointment. Have I not been saying that to you every day? Yeah. And it's not gotten done. Because I'm lazy. I've got two appointments set because that's how serious it is. That's how you know when I'm serious. Because I'm not a doctor person, anti-doctor. Menopause is no damn joke. Every woman is different. Go get through it. I also don't want any women coming at me like, girl, you know. I don't like when women like downplay our thing. I feel like men do it enough. He just said when his frustration is. <laughs> his frustration. Every second. <laughs> and I'm fighting for my life, babe, for real though. <laughs> Man, and I'm fighting for my life, tell the truth. See, that's what you want me to do. Okay, morning. <laughs> Don't mind my powder flower filled suit. I am bloated beyond bloated to over there. I 
I ain't packed nothing for the trip yet. It's 10 or 4. I was cleaning out the pantry and got flour. Look at this. Look at the flour everywhere. But I also found some sardines. So I figured, let me just take me a little snack break. I haven't had breakfast. So, oh, some of that out. Dog. How you doing today, friend? You good? I don't know when the last time it was I seen you. It might have been last night. My drunkard state. Miss. <laughs> hey. We living, ain't it, sis? Doing the best we can. The girls are down now having breakfast right now. My mama done cooked a bunch of stuff I heard last night. Meanwhile, I'm up here eating sardines out the can. Nauseous, I'm so nauseous. Why do I wake up nauseated every day? Shit! I ain't complaining, I'm explaining. These are just sardines in oil. Bon appetit. Mary, move over. Come on, nothing happened to you, girl. Ann and her kids. We're coming down, we're going down to the beach today. And Shannon had to wait for my other grandkids to get out of school today. Mm. I want to bump this hair. I don't have any heat protectant. I don't want to burn the hair up, so should I curl it? What else can you use as a heat protector? I don't know, child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Sardines. Sardines gonna always look out. Okay. Well. Sardines get gone quick. Mm. Back in our normal meeting spot. Oh, you thought we was done? No, <laughs> no, friend, y'all know we're not done. I know. I've said this before. How many lashes did I lose? Oh, the whole inner is gone. Okay. <laughs> ah! The rest of them are all good, though. Oh, I know I've said this before, but having grown daughters at an age now where we're literally having girlfriend chat, I'm still trying to squirm my only child self into their, their sister group. They had me in the group one time for just like one quick conversation. Turn this off, child. I'm gonna get upset today. Hang our water, will you? Um, but they had me in the girl group just to ask me a question or something, and I wasn't supposed to keep interacting in the group. Mm, not me, child. <laughs> they was on there one night doing their regular girl chat stuff, and I'm on there too. I'm at over here in the bed. I'm up. I'm just interacting. They blocked me. They threw me out of the group, y'all. <laughs> she said, now see, daughter, bread and that one. She said, now see, you always gotta come here doing too much. Now, hey, you just sat over there quietly. Okay, you could've been in here. No, you got to be in here saying stuff. Interacting and doing stuff like you a whole part of the group, you not. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> I'm just really enjoying that, that space, that time. Three little, three little girls. So now grown women, Kids, families of their own. Oh my goodness. When I get there, there'll be four generations. That is a blessing. That is a blessing. Oh, I'm so thankful. Oh, I'm so thankful. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm out of there.
So as I said earlier in the video, Shane's kids had no idea that they were going to be going to the beach to hang out with their cousins. So this was just me taking over the conversation because child daughter was not explaining to these children quick enough what the hell was happening. And I needed some, some real exciting reactions. So as you can see, old man grandson right there, he's my oldest. Honey, he doing the most. He's so dramatic, but not really dramatic, but very dramatic to be just an old man like that. He only 10, 11, I think. Um, anyway, they're excited to be going down here. They um, were totally surprised. So I packed them some road trips to ride down so that they can have something to eat. And there's a reaction from Kai. And we're on the way. See y'all at the beach, y'all. On our way to the beach. We're at the gas station gassing up. Daughter's over there at that pump. That shouldn't be that sweet. Oh! Okay, sorry. Sorry. That caught me off guard. Woo! Sweet. What is in that? What is that blue? God, don't. Please don't be no chicken that was recalled. I'm hungry. I don't know if I should eat at McDonald's, though. That's just as bad. I don't really want this, though. I know, girl. Let me record that for real. Audie letting his aunt hold him, honey. That is going down in history. And then the aunt, oh, he's letting his mama hold his, her nephew. The aunties are holding each other's sons and the sons aren't saying nothing. Oh my God. Both of them don't rent an Airbnb that's jacked up. Got us still in a wet mold bubble.
me, me and my family here right here on this channel with yet another celebration milestone here in our family, which is also your family. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one because guess why? It's your favorite auntie.